you can see see up there that's our chain it's so calm that we're, we're resting on like just the weight of the chain and you can see the entire chain in the water here's underneath us you can see it's just looped around not doing too much and as far as the eye can see you can see the chain out there our anchor chain all the way welcome aboard encore we are off on a wild adventure to see and explore together one anchorage dive and hike at a time with the goal of living each and every day to its fullest i'm natalie that's tj our pup camo and my dad and captain mike we spent last season on the east coast and now it's time to head south make sure to join us as we cruise through the caribbean on an adventure of a lifetime Our venture continues north with a stop that we have never heard of before, but looks spectacular on the maps. So we decided to go check it out. TJ, where are you taking us? No man's land. We're driving straight at this rock wall ahead of us. I'm playing chicken with it. Nicely done. Thanks. How'd it look up there? It looks beautiful. I mean, the fact that the water is this clear off the we back of the boat. We saw like a little stingray or a turtle or something. Yeah. Just swimming over there from the drone. Yeah, that was cool. Look at this. You can see all the blades of grass down here. Oh, I cannot wait to get in the water. This is a beautiful spot. We found a nice home for a day or so. Yeah. We're over here at Glass K, and it is just endless sandbars. The water is like a foot deep, and it just goes on forever. So here with the camo, this place is insane. This is so cool. Glass Key, gotta come to Glass Key.
What's the review of uh, the beach? We have our own little slice of paradise here, and it is gorgeous. I thought the sand bar at Spanish Wells was like the prettiest thing ever. This is like 10 times that. Yeah, this is next level. It's so that warm. Was, yeah, it's so warm. That was beautiful, but this like puts it to shame. This is phenomenal. So much larger, so much more remote. Oh yeah. There's no one else here. Paradise. Well, when I say the water is clear here, where we are in the Bahamas, we are sitting in 16 feet of water, and you can see the bottom as clear as day. The wind stopped blowing, so there's no disturbance or not very much on the surface. But this is 16 feet of water beneath us, and it, you can see the blades of the seagrass. You were just covering for me then. Oh <laughs> my God. Downstairs. That's like a perfect. We are enjoying oh a nice dinner up here. I went to go get my phone and I didn't know where TJ went and he was on top of the boat. I yeah. thought he went downstairs and he went upstairs. Oh my gosh. Hi, Jimmy. in Toledo. But we're enjoying a nice dinner on the fly bridge. Ooh. Natalie made another wonderful creation, and uh, TJ and I have cleaned our bowls. Yeah, wow. I have some work to do. We have a little bit to do. But the it's a beautiful sunset, and we have a nice breeze. Yeah, the wind is dying down. It's a nice breeze instead of being a roaring blow. It's been a gorgeous day. We're over here, and the ocean is so calm that we actually are just not even protected. We're just hanging out over here. You can see the bottom, see all the little grass. Oh, this is so nice. We're in a good place. This is a good place to be. Let me go see if I can see the, the bottom on the side, how this looks. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Oh, the underwater lights tonight will be gorgeous. They will be. Demos. So this morning, our project is to clean the bottom of the boat because it has not been cleaned in a little bit. So it's starting to get a little bit of um, just like growth on the bottom and that can slow you down and just build up. So you want to get rid of that. So we're going to go launch the hookah, which is our like underwater dive system to go do that. And we're just getting ready. And I have found that with having such long hair, I was getting like dreadlocks every single time I went into the water and I found the only way to fix that is to put my hair in like 10 different hair ties all the way down my hair and just uh, keep them like that and that actually makes my hair not knot. So if you have long hair and you don't want your hair to knot when you go in the ocean, this is really the best way. Sometimes I'll even take some... Um, coconut oil and put it in my hair also just to get a little bit more moisture but I conditioned it yesterday so it's pretty soft. Hi TJ. Hi. And yeah that's just kind of the procedure. Get the hair all ready, get all of our gear ready and we're gonna go hop in and clean the boat. So here's the finished product. I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven in my hair. The bottom doesn't ever really knot, so I just leave it out. But uh, you are, if you have long hair, this will be your saving grace in the ocean. Trust me. I used to spend like an hour brushing my hair out every single time I get out of the water. And now I just get in the shower, pull the hair ties out, good to go. So we're cleaning the bottom of the boat today. This is how we get the hookah down. Here's our hookah. Here's the connection line. You attach the accumulator to this, and then it pumps air through here, down this hose, into our regulators down at the bottom. It's a pretty cool system. Hi, are you gonna help us clean the boat? Are you gonna get underneath and clean it? Use your tail? Yeah. So if you're cleaning the boat, I 
have done a lot of research. Okay. the bottom of the boat. I've done a lot of research to get you the best tools available. Oh, wonderful. I'm always thinking of you. Oh, thank you. So, what we have is we have a... Wow. A very nice underwater handle or brush. I thought the extended handle went on this. Maybe this is for something else. I bought this a while ago. Okay. Anyway, that's one cleaning device This looks there. great. Yeah, look, I see the person under the water right there scrubbing. That's going to be me. It'll be you. Okay. And then we got a couple of uh, pretty nice, these are just Bed Bath & Beyond. If you do this and this, and that could, on a proper surface, that'll work. So then kind of, I got a couple of these dandy little devices. And what are these things for? These are gonna, you're gonna go under the boat, and you're gonna push it there, and you're gonna pump it. You're gonna push on it, and it'll pump. And oh, then, it it'll be, you can't pull that off. <laughs> you can hang onto that. And if it starts to lose the suction, the orange will show. Perfect. And, uh, since we're in shallow water, I won't tie a float to this. It will be good to retrieve it if it falls down. Right, and there's a little release mechanism on this side that releases it. Cool. And away you go. Then we have a little through-hole wire brush. Oh. So there's some metal through-holes down there. Mm -hmm. You can run this in. There's some grates over it. And actually, I recently had them grind the covers off when the boat was last hauled out, and they put opening uh Those scoops kind of right yeah. Or, yeah i don't think you, the boat was just uh painted everything's clean but at least i don't think you'll have to open them but you can at least run this through the little grooves okay and so from under you're going to be along the water line and underneath i was told you need to have a long handle so if you're hanging on to this you can reach a further distance ah okay I'm thinking of you guys all <laughs> wow if you have any barnacle scraping you have to do we got wow. a selection of these. Oh my god, you got a bunch. Well, if you drop some, here we can pick them up. It's real shallow, you can see. We have some stainless ones, but we'll stay and just use these for now. Yeah. And then, and some of the through holes, you can ram this in there to make sure any barnacles get pushed out. <laughs> wow. So look at through holes for like the AC units and things like that, like those through holes? Yeah. Okay. Exactly. So it's kind of like Christmas for you guys. Wow. It's like Christmas, <laughs> TJ. <laughs> yeah. I've never played oh. under a boat. You'll have to let me know if any of this stuff works. Okay. Um, we'll do I'm that. I'm told it should. Cool. I'll tell you a lot of good supplies to get started with. Absolutely. Now it's time to set up the hookah. Thankfully, it's a straightforward and quick process to get everything set up and ready to use. We uncoil the hoses and attach them to the accumulator tank and the main hose from the hookah. Then we pick it up and float it out into the water. We bought our hookah from Brownie Dive Shop. It can handle up to three people, maxes out at 60 feet, is powered by a lithium battery, and is mobile so we can use it on the boat or out on the reef. The hookah is deployed, so now it's time for us to gear up and get ready to take the plunge. We had to get my earrings. <laughs> we had to get my earrings out. I don't want to lose them. Don't forget to take off the jewelry. But Fits you good. Yeah, they say uh, sometimes you will get like ear infections from the stuff you scrape off a boat. So you want to kind of cover your ears, I read, when you're boat cleaning so that you don't get ears stuff in your ears. So what's our what's our game plan? Are we gonna work from the front to the back or are we gonna work from the back to the front or the side to side? I think we'll go front to back and then we'll this is really a look. <laughs> <laughs> and then when we get to the back we'll like move the dinghy and the hookah and we'll swap it. Okay. And then we'll go wherever. Sounds good. I feel like my face is, my head is compressed. Yeah. Which tool are you going to use first? You going to use this one? Yeah, this one for me. Okay. Does this feel comfortable on your head? Do yeah, you like yours? I love it. That's why I wear it every time.
bottom and Natalie and TJ are under cleaning the boat. So in case we get a line under the boat and we're out someplace and we need to get under there for a period of time, this is our safety gear. Here comes TJ out of the water. Hello! How's it going? It's going pretty good. Fantastic. Everything working like uh, expected? Yeah. Well, I was just informed by Natalie and TJ there's a lot of little squids under the boat now. Alright, so there are squids under there? Yeah. A whole bunch? Uh, like 10 of them. Oh wow, cool. Little ones. How did the uh, stainless steel scraper work? It's too sharp. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, I was going to say be careful with that. Don't take the bottom paint off. Yeah. How was our uh, first boat cleaning experience? It went really well. I'd say the boat looks pretty dang clean. It does. It was uh, about two hours total of cleaning. With two of us. <laughs> with two of us. Figuring out which tools were good and which were bad. This was too too aggressive. Yeah. Um, yeah, after that it just... Which one was your favorite? Uh, it's by your feet. Oh, down here. This was TJ's favorite. Mine was similar. Grab that red one. That was my favorite. Mine's a little bit more aggressive than yours. Yeah, and then we also used a plastic scraper, which might looks be under like this pile like a putty, somewhere. A plastic putty knife. Yeah, for uh, the keel cooler to, to get the barnacles out of there. Yeah, but once we got to scraping, all the muck came flying off, and we were in a pile of murky water. Yeah, <laughs> works great. It did. So now we just need to clean up our puka get everything put away, shower, and that'll be a good a good task for the day. Oh, look at these marks in my goggles. <laughs> <laughs> well, we just finished cleaning the bottom of the boat and now it's raining. This is like the second time we've had rain in the Bahamas. It's pretty bizarre, but hopefully it cools the place down because it has been very hot. So this is very much so enjoyable. Just getting cooled down. Feels so good. It's been so hot. You coming out for sunset? Yeah. It's gonna be a good one. The clouds are already lighting up a little bit. Good morning, TJ. My dad asleep still. Yes. We're moving to a new anchorage today, and it is really, really nice and calm outside. This is some of the calmest weather we've had. Oh my gosh! It's like looking through glass. Just looking down to the water, you see all the little pieces of 
seagrass on the on the sand and it's so beautiful and we have a little bit of sunrise colors showing themselves off to us and that right there is the ocean past those rocks and it's just calm as can be out there and it's supposed to be this calm for the next few days how crazy is that? We're in about 14 feet of water right now, probably. And it looks like, you know, it looks like you're like a few feet away. So TJ, how has this anchorage been? Amazing. One of my favorites. Why is it one of your favorites? The sandbar is unbelievable. And it's just really cool, pretty vibrant blue water, kind of 360 would around us. And yeah, it's just really pretty. And it's remote. There's not like anybody around. We've got Wildcat Willie over there. A catamaran. And then this guy came in yesterday, but yeah. it's just beautiful here. Yeah, it's beautiful and there's no one around. And the yep. water is clear and the reefs were nice. Yep, there's a blue hole. Yeah, it was a blue hole. That was cool. Saw some squid as we were cleaning the boat yesterday. Just it's cooler. Yeah. Yeah, I agree. And we got some of the calmest weather we've had this entire time in the Bahamas. Yeah. <laughs> Which always adds to the enjoyment. Yeah. Like we're not even protected here. Like this is the ocean is right through those rocks. So we are literally have zero protection at our anchorage. But because it was gonna be this calm. We didn't need to. Well, we are having breakfast and then we are heading out to our next anchorage, which is only about an hour and a half away, two hours away. And it's gonna look just like this. Yeah, I think it will look a lot, <laughs> a lot like this and have some more snorkeling there. Yep. That's our plan. So we are getting ready to take off. I was worried about that. <laughs> you can see, see up there, that's our chain so calm that we're, we're resting on like just the weight of the chain and you can see the entire chain in the water here's underneath us you can see it's just looped around not doing too much and as far as the eye can see you can see the chain out there our anchor chain all the way Thank you so much for watching and for subscribing to our channel. We are so happy to have you along for the ride with us. We hope you enjoyed learning some more information about cleaning the bottom of the boat and enjoy that absolutely spectacular sandbar. Going forward, we are going to be releasing two videos a week on Tuesday and Saturday. So keep an eye out for those and have a beautiful rest of your week.